in today's class, we'll see how we'll be able to separate nonlinear data by full neurons and we'll be able to separate nonlinear data. The class will be quite interesting and you'll be able to understand the intuition, the mathematics behind this. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Now this time, if you see our data is different. Now, if you see this time, our data is different. I want to divide this. See, if I take a line like this, then three red points are above the line and others are below the line. How about this? Five points. How about this? Things are mixed up, right? So by taking a line, I will not be able to separate the blue points from the red points. So there is a problem. Remember, one neuron will be able to separate only the linear data. If the data is this way, it will be hard for this one to separate and there will be a lot of errors. So with one neuron, we will not be able to separate the blue ones from the red ones. How we will be able to separate here. As I already mentioned you in the last class, one line will separate the data this way. See, I'm fixing one line, this line. Okay. I fix this line. Then I will fix another line this way. So let me pick the line this way. This is another line. Okay. So there are two sides always. Then I will fix a line like this. And then finally, I need another line. That is this one. I need another line, this one. Now for each line, we need one neuron. And that way, we'll be able to separate the blue from the green ones. So let me take this one a little bit that side. Now these are my four lines. L1 I've written, L2 I've written, L3 I've written, L4 I've written. These are the four lines. So what I can make is, this is my single layer perceptron. What this will do is, this will separate the whole, whatever we see, the blue and red points into two parts, the left and right. Suppose I'm talking about L1 here. This is L1. Then the second one is L2. Different weights and biases will work. If you are unable to understand this one, you can go to my last class, last video and complete that. This is the second line L2. L2. That will also separate into two parts. Okay. Suppose I consider only L2. You get four points, four red points, one, two, three, four to the right. And all other points you will get to the left. Similarly, if you take another line, that will separate again into two parts. So here we'll get another neuron. That is L3. Again, L4 will separate the whole data points into two parts. Now what we want, like already I mentioned you in the last class, these are the four lines. We have to combine all four lines. Okay. So you know the equation of a line. Here if I write input xy, xy will not change. Here xy, they will not change. Here also xy, here also xy. What will change is the weights and biases, xy here. And now here the weights will take, okay, suppose 2, 3, 5, 6, whatever you get. Suppose you get 2, 3 here, 1, 5 here, 3, 2 here, 4, 9 here. Remember one thing. I'm not going through the perceptron learning here. Okay. You get the intuition. It's very easy. Now this you have to divide. This you have to divide. Again, you can combine these four neurons. Instead, what we do is we write once only because X and Y, they are the same. We'll write once X and Y. Then we'll make here four neurons for L1, L2, L3, L4. And we'll combine this way. That is similar. So the first one is this because these two are anyway, two, three, we can write here two, three. And the second one, one five. For example, I'm saying, okay. And you join these two and join these two here. So that way, that way we have four, four neurons here. And the activation is here, the heavy side or the step function, it will divide into zeros and ones. Okay. So you make it in such a way that whenever the, the, this line comes, okay, this side, this side, you make one. From this line, this side you make one because this is a binary one. This will decide. This line, this side you take blue, this side you take one. Then what will happen? You get one as output, one as output. Then you combine all these output, okay? 
we need another final neuron which will decide whether it's blue or not. Okay. So for that, what we'll do is we'll do this way. We have another neuron here, another neuron. We'll connect all these. Okay. We'll connect this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you can set weights. Suppose, for example, I'm taking five, six, nine, eight, whatever way possible. Then what will happen? When you multiply five with one, six with one, nine with one, eight with one. So definitely you get a positive number here. It could be 11, 20, 28. So you get 28 here. Because 28 positive, you are getting one. One means blue. Here, one means blue. And zero is, suppose, red. So you got blue here. So this way, if you combine these four lines, then you'll be able to get all the blue points this way. Okay. So this way it's possible. Although it's a combination of linear classifiers. It's not non-linear. Okay. Now see how many neurons I need. How many neurons I need here. Suppose these are my red. These are my red. And these are my blue. These are my blue points. So in this case, what will happen? You can draw lines like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, combination of all these lines. So it's kind of, you know, if you see this corner point, this intersection, this intersection, this intersection, this intersection. So combination of neurons, because one neuron is equivalent to one linear classifier. So that way, we'll still be able to separate. 